my friends, my fellow producers, this is Dilly. Welcome to my channel, Dilly's Addiction, and also welcome to this 2 years anniversary and 5k subs special video. Kenasa Ghost, this channel hit 2 special milestones. The first one was its second anniversary. Wow, how time flies. We've been together for 2 years, friends. I'm really thankful for that. The second one was hitting the 5k subs. Yay! Thanks so much for all the love, all the support everyone has been giving to this channel. Wouldn't have made it without you all. I really appreciate every view, every share, every like, and every comment you made for this channel. I really wanted to improve this channel, to ask about what you like, about your expectation or something you wish to see from this channel, and also get to know a little bit more about you all. So I made this post and also included a quick survey in it. The survey had questions like, how did you find my channel, your favorite type of content, are there any other contents that you wish to see? Um, then I asked if you were interested in q and I didn't expect many producers left questions. Thanks so much for that. Ah. Also, a few questions about your OnStar's favorite. In this video, I'm going to share the survey result with you guys. Try to answer as many questions as I can for the Q&A and also read some of your entries about your OnStar's favorite. Let's gather around and get to know each other more. Oh, before that, I want to say thank you so much to everyone participating in the survey. I didn't expect that many producers would write really sweet and motivating messages. I had lots of fun reading your thoughts, your entries about Unstars, and your message to your Oshies. Okay, without further ado, let's start. Question 1. How did you find my channel? 54.4 producers found my channel from YouTube Home Recommendation. Then, another 31.6% found it using the search feature. 3.5% were shared by their friends. Yay, thanks so much for recommending my channel to your friends. I really appreciate it. Okay, now question 2. What's your favorite type of content from my channel? So basically, with this question, I really want to know your preference for my channel's existing contents. If you noticed, these options are my channel playlist names. I tried to categorize my videos to these playlists so everyone can find videos they need easier and hopefully faster. And for the result, the number one most favorite is, actually are because there are two, the calendar and guide video have exactly the same amount of votes. So they're officially the most favorite type of content for this channel. Yay! For number two, we have news and campaign style video. Actually, this type of video is the trickier to make as to make them, I have to speed run. I always want and try to make the videos as fast as I can, though sometimes I didn't make it. <laughs> but I'm so happy that you guys like them. Lastly, at the third position, we also have two videos having a tie here. They are scouting video and this one is unexpected for me. Our youngest child, the event review video. Wow. I got the idea for the event preview video for quite a long time before finally try to make it for real. Mostly because this video would have a fixed schedule which is once every two weeks and I was worried I couldn't always keep up or be consistent with it so I hesitated. But that one day I was determined to alright Tilly, let's just do it. I'm glad I decided to do it. Question 3. What type of contents do you wish to see from this channel in the future? I provided three multiple choices here. The first one is ranking or top list video, then more gameplay, and the last option is sync cover. <laughs> then I also wanted to know what you had in mind, so I included this other option here. And the result is... 35.1 respondents voted for ranking video. Um, actually, I had few topics in mind about this, and I'm also thinking to drop surveys occasionally so we can make our rankings together maybe? What do you think? But for sure, let's try to make a ranking or top list video soon. Then, the second most voted is the sync cover video. Ah! 
kenapa I put the option there just for fun and wasn't expecting it to get many votes. <laughs> it gets 28.1% votes. Um, actually, I always want to make a good cover, but I don't have a proper recording equipment. Um, but well, I'll try to do it sometimes. The more gameplay option is at the third place with 10.5% votes. Few producers also want more event experience video. Alright, I've noted it down. I'm planning to make one for Vermilion Hero. Oh, there are many interesting suggestions that producers worked here too. Such as something related to the plot or story of the game, more on Star's JP contents, multi lives together. <laughs> I'm too shy for this actually. A bit decorating, that's really interesting. Then maybe a get to know daily special video. <laughs> I think the QA segment of this video will cover that a little bit. Welcome to the Q&A segment of this video, yay! <laughs> Once again, thanks, well, I'm happy that you guys left so many questions. I'll try to answer as many as I can within this video duration. I divided the Q&A into three sections about Tilly, about YouTube channel, and about OnStars. Each section has five questions. Let's start with the first segment. Okay, first question and the most asked question. Where are you from? I think few producers may have already known this. I am from and live in Indonesia. Hello producer and stars dari Indo. <laughs> Senang lihat komen kalian di channel aku. Many viewers are also from Indonesia. Thank you for supporting this channel. Do you play another rhythm game? What's your favorite beside Unstars music? Um, I played few rhythm games before, it's been so long though. Now I'm currently only playing on Stars Music on so many servers. <laughs> If I have to pick one favorite among rhythm games, I think my favorite is Timo. I love piano, though I'm not really good at playing it, so playing Timo is really satisfying for me. How do you manage your time for many OnStars versions you're currently playing? Well, yeah, <laughs> I play so many versions of OnStars. EN, JP Music and Basic, and KR. Um, I'm the most active on EN because it's my main account and thankfully it has auto life, so I can just let it place on the side while I'm working. Usually, I do the stereo live sets in the morning before starting my work. For JP, lately I'm really busy so I only play intently when there's event, but I'm still trying to do all the campaign daily missions that currently ongoing. Yeah, maybe log in once every five hours or twice a day in my spare time. KR, oh my god, I'm sorry KR. Honestly, it's the luckiest account but the most neglected one. I'm still logging in every day though, but most of the time I'm not participating in events. Still do the campaigns though. Additional note. <laughs> Besides OnStars, I play so many other games such as Genshin Impact, Honkai Star Rail, some Otome games like Tears of Timas, Love Brass Chronicle, and Love and Tip Space, Obimi sometimes, and also Wuthering Waves. I usually play the Otome games in the morning and Hoyo First games plus Uwa at night. Do you know or like any K-pop groups? Okay, story time. <laughs> Honestly, before I delve into OnStars, I was, well, I am still a K-pop fan, though now I'm not as active as few years ago. I am now forever so on. I like BTS since 2015. Um, I know almost all K-pop groups, but my most favorite one now is Tomorrow by Together, and my bias is Wong Yu. Fun fact, I started liking them during Good Boy Gone Bad era, and guess what Wong Yu's hair color was that time? I swear red is not my favorite color. 
Okay, that leads us to the last question for this section. This question is from Star. Hello, Star. What's your favorite color and animal? My favorite color is... Guess. <laughs> it's pink. And pastel colors. They're cute and sweet. On the contrary, my favorite animal is... <laughs> already extinct it's t-rex <laughs> isn't it cute <laughs> look at its tiny hands all of my friends always give me side eyes every time i say this <laughs> well i also like wild animals like lion and tiger what inspired you to make the channel and begin posting videos in the first place Many producers posted this kind of question like How did I start? Why on stars? What made me want to be a YouTuber? <laughs> Actually, I never once planned or thought about being a YouTuber. I always saw myself as a regular person that loves playing games. I've always been awkward with social media, to be honest, always inactive everywhere to the point where my friends complained about it. <laughs> but as I started playing on stars, got to know the events and how it worked, it really surprised me at first because the event card reward wasn't free. I was used to Hoyover's games where you can just get all the rewards available as long as you grind, but it didn't work that way in on stars. Still, even though it wasn't free, I was still curious. Um, was it that expensive? Or was it actually affordable? How many dias did it exactly need? Or was it worth it? So I decided to try it myself on Water Tempest event that time. The conclusion was, ah, uh, turns out that it isn't that. Well, okay, it's quite expensive, but not that expensive actually. I spent around 5k dias that time, and it's less than 20 pools in scouting. When you have a bad scouting session, you can spend a lot more than that for one 5 star card. So that time, I thought going for event card was really worth my dias. I really wanted to share this to fellow producers to share that it was actually possible and affordable to go for event cards in Unstars. That's why I decided to make a video about it. I never thought that the video would get many views and got many people subscribed. <laughs> then I tried to post an event tips video and a guide and they were also well received. Thank you for that. Not long after, I also got an idea to post the furniture interaction, then calendar videos. And yes, that leads us to what we are now. Yay, thank you! What apps do you use? How long does it take to make a video? I use Adobe Premiere Pro for video editing and Photoshop for image layouting. I only use these two softwares and also Notepad <laughs> to draft my script. Um, for one video, it takes... It depends on how long the video and how complicated it is. Most of the time, it takes 3 to 4 days for one video. Um, for shorter videos, I can finish it in one or two days. I also got a question as where did I learn video editing? Um, actually, I learned it in college. I was majoring in multimedia editing and graphic design. Will you create content for other games in the future? Okay, before answering this question, I found a really funny and interesting question one of the producers left. Did you know that I get a helpline ad every time I search for your YouTube? <laughs> ah, blame the addiction. <laughs> Well, in the process of making my first video back then, I wasn't sure it would go well, so I initially planned to also post about other games that I was addicted to, especially the gacha part. Making guides wasn't on my plan actually. That's why I named this channel Dilly's Addiction, thinking about dumping all my gacha addiction in every game here. Actually, it was supposed to be written with an apostrophe like this, but I didn't want to see any symbols in my channel name, so I just left it. Now for the question, I plan to, but what do you think? Do you want to see other games besides Unstars here on my channel? 
Or shall we just keep it on stars exclusive just as it is now? Please tell me in the comment. Do you have a favorite video out of the ones you made? I do. It's my when to spend days on event video featuring nights. I had such a great time editing this, especially the demonstration part and also the bloopers. Please check it out if you haven't. Do you have some tips about starting YouTube or becoming content creators? Um, I think first of all, you should make content of something that you love, that you have passion about, something that you want to share to other people, the type of content that, because you love it, you'll enjoy every process of making it. Next, maybe try to find your style. Um, try to make your videos so you that people will recognize, oh, it's his, or oh, it's her video. Oh, it's kind of fake. I'm sorry I'm bad at giving these kind of tips, but plan and write down or at least draft your concept and try to be consistent with it. Following the trend is also great, but also try to keep it still you. I know you know what I mean, right? <laughs> okay, uh, lastly, being a content creator, a YouTuber is a challenge. Consistency is the key, but when you feel tired or burnt out, take a short break that you need. Please stay happy and healthy first. That's your top priority. The first and the most asked question. How did you come across and start playing on stars? Okay, it all began with that one Genshin Impact Rhythm Game event, the almighty Arataki Great and Glorious Tromlong Festival. <laughs> I really enjoyed playing that event, and I felt like I want more of this kind of rhythm gameplay. Just in time, I saw on stars at I forgot where though, maybe Instagram. I decided to install the game, and turn out it has just been released for two or three days. So I feel lucky that I've been playing it since the beginning. It was so overwhelming at first with the whole 49 idols, oh my god. The time I thought to myself, how am I supposed to remember all of them, who is whom, and which unit they belong to, but wow, I couldn't remember all of them in no time. I don't know what possessed me, I'm usually so bad with remembering names. And the music. I love all the songs. When we started the game, we went straight to the tutorial, right? I remember reading the story, then suddenly have to play Kiss of Life, which I didn't know the title back then. I was impressed by the music. The beat drop there on Ira's because... So, put the idols and the songs made me stay and continue playing until now. I never thought I'd be this addicted when I started playing on stars though. Okay, the second question is all about my on stars favorite. Who are your Oshis and why? I have many Oshis, but my top three are Hiro, then Sukasa, and Mika. Hiro, um, maybe because he was the first idol introduced to me in the story. <laughs> my first impression of him was. <laughs> Wow, he's loud, but then, um, he's oddly adorable, his cool self and weird behavior are really interesting. After getting to know him more, he's just so sweet and likable, so pure, like an angel. I was kinda surprised though, usually I always like the bad boy type more than the pure ones, but Hiro, I don't know, he just captured my heart. For Sukasa, I'm not gonna lie, at first, it was because of his English. <laughs> I'm not a native English speaker either, but his English is cute. It's sometimes awkward, but that's adorable, don't you think? I feel proud of him though, he's the youngest, but he's the leader of the unit and also the head of his family. He has many crowns to bear, I just want to support him. Mika. He was the first and the current FS banner we had that time. And I thought, wow, look at this guy, he's so 
cool that expression though and his eyes his heterochromy is super attractive but then I read yeah. the first episode of his idol story and he was nothing like I imagined and that maintenance by teach part who is this teach guy seriously and what did he do to Mika well, after reading that questionable episode, I still loved him though, and getting to know his character made me love him more. Is your first Oshi the same as your current Oshi? If not, who was it? Yes, it is. It has been Hirokun all along. I love you, Hirokun. Favorite songs? For now, it's Sake of Love by Alkaloid and Crazy B. And for some reason, Ringing Evil Phone leaves friend free in my head. What units do you like the most, music-wise? I think music-wise, it's Eden. Least favorite. Least favorite character. Um, I can't say the least favorite cause I'm actually fine with him. It's just he appeared way too many times in my scouts instead of my sons. So I'm kinda... Uh, uh. It gives me anxiety that every time I get a rainbow and if Coast Pro is on the screen, I just know that 80% chance it's gonna be him. Other than that, I actually kinda like him though. I even scouted for him when he got his limited, but he didn't come home sadly. <laughs> Can you guess who he is? It's Nagisa-san. <laughs> Look at this. On the end, I have two cards of him at level 70, so three copies each. And not only that, he came on every server. On JP Music, got another three copies of his card. And this wasteland card really loves me, it seems. Let's see basic. I have the exact same card of Nagisa as in music. And recently, I also got his initial from the Free Pools. Lastly, KR. I have his initial, his FS1, and also his wasteland card. I swear this card haunts me in every server. But I love his voice though, one of my favorite voices in the game. List favorite songs. I love all Unstar songs, actually, maybe not the least favorite but overplayed. It's only your stars. It's been my grinding song since the beginning. Let's hear the play count. Wow, 4612 plays. <laughs> I didn't always turn the volume on every time, but still though, it has been imprinted to my memory. What is your best event experience so far? My best event experience so far was the SS Arc Tour Satellite because it was my first time grinding for a max copy of an event card. It wasn't easy, but it was really exciting and of course satisfying. I kinda miscalculated my grinding time though, so I still had to speedrun a bit at the end. The event ended at 10am here in my time zone and I remember after that I went straight to bed cause I was so tired and slept really really well for a few hours until the afternoon. I'm really looking forward to max another event card which is Vermilion Hero. It's so soon and maybe that one will be my best event experience after this. How do you handle the disappointment if your Oshi didn't come on his banner? I vent out my frustration by playing those special bitmap songs. <laughs> I mostly messed up, but at least I have something to pour my frustration into, right? If you had the power to influence anything in the game, what would you change, take out, or implement? I will definitely do something about the scouting system. 300 pulls for one red up card is really cruel, isn't it? And maybe something like 50-50 system. It's really frustrating to get 10 5 stars, but none of them is the red up. Oh, and the 4 stars too. Like, are they even in the banners? How come 40 pulls can't even make one red up 4 star come home? Out of all the games that I play, Unstar Sketcha gives me the most anxiety because of this uncertainty. It's kinda impossible to always have 105,000 dias on our account, right? It's gonna be nice if they can do something about this gacha and PT system, actually. Okay, that was the last question. Uh, 
like to leave we still have so many interesting questions about OnStars here, but for the sake of the video duration, maybe next time then. Your OnStars favorite. Please write down your favorite characters or Oshies in OnStars. Here are the top 3 Oshies you guys wrote in the survey. For the third place, there are two idols that got the same votes. Hiyori and Tsukasa. Yay! For the second place, there are three idols. Aira, Hiro, and Mayui. Well, I guess we have a lot of alkalities filled in the survey. And the first place goes to... Not one, not two, but also three idols. Who are they? Kohaku, Mika, and Ritsu! Yay! Well, all of my top 3 Oshis are also in your top 3 Oshis list. <laughs> Thank you so much. Let's move on to the next question. Your favorite songs. There are too many songs mentioned in the survey and it's really hard to rank them. So instead, I'll read a few of your entries here. The first one is by Kanji has to be living on the edge. I've been captivated by it ever since the first listen and I never get tired of it. Same here. It's such a great song and the music, the beat, the lyrics, everything is perfect. Next one is from Rachel. I think it has to be Moonlight Disco. A great choice indeed. And the last one is by Discrepancy. It's a top list including 15 most favorite songs of this lovely producer. Here it is. With a message, wanted to put just 10, but then I realized there's too many I love so much for many different reasons, so I'll stop at 15. Uh, I think it's already remarkable that you could list 15 of your most favorite because I would find it really really difficult. I also have too many songs that I love in OnStars. Thanks so much for your entries and let's move on to the last part. Do you have something to say to or about your Oshis? Ah, reading all of your messages was really heartwarming and wholesome. I really want to read all of them here, but could pick only three for this video. The first one is by Claudia. I love Kuro so much. Literally, my life without him would be so meaningless. Whenever I feel sad or mad, I always look and think about Kuro. He's doing nothing because he's a fictional character in the game, but for me, he'll always be my savior and favorite idol. He helped me during my depressive period, during my vacation, during my school. I always sit alone anywhere, but I have him with me and then my day gets better. I'm so happy that Kuro exists. I wish to be rich to buy more of his merch, but I'm poor and I can't afford more. Gomene, Kuro-san! I love him with my whole heart and soul. He's mine and I'm his, my great boyfriend and husband, literal soulmate for me. Uh, I get super hyped about Kuro. Whenever I need to talk about my Oshis, it's always him on the first place and when someone asks me about Kuro, I always write a whole paragraph why I love him or why he's my first choice. Thank you for your wholehearted message, Claudia. Next, the second one is from Marie. Hello Marie! I like how creative Mikakun is. He's grown so much in finding his own creative form of art interpretation through his idol career. Thank you Marie! Last is from Roseiba. Hear me out. Okay, we're listening. I think Ibarra is such a well-written character. I love him with all my heart. Eden's productions of music in general, even without the vocals, are so amazing. They never fail to make me shiver. So thank you to June's Beast Card for introducing me to this awesome unit and guys. I swear, without it, I probably would have been another person entirely. Thank you, Roseba. Also, these are some sweet and cute and funny short messages for Oshis that I compile here since I cannot read all of them in this video. Please pause if needed. And thanks so much for participating. Wow, 
well, that was the last section of the second anniversary and 5k subs special video. It's a super long video, but I hope you enjoyed watching and had fun as much as I did. I'm really happy and motivated by your survey entries and I hope this channel can continue to grow and also get better and better in the future. Nice to know all of you guys. Cheers for more fun in the future. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Take care and bye-bye.